how is it going guys Stacy man here and today I'm going to bring you a brand new squad builder it's going to be based around uh, the Salmon of Knowledge who is uh, Connor Salmon who plays for Ireland he now plays in Ipswich on loan but he's been an Irish legend scoring no goals in nine games what a complete legend but anyways this is the team I built around him it's, I'm just going to round it off about 20k but not about 18k but normally just round it off so anyways let's actually get into it now the goalkeeper's John Ruddy. Now I'm actually kind of disappointed Norwich got relegated because they actually have some good players. I did not know John Ruddy was six foot four, but to be honest, nothing got past this goalkeeper. I've only played six games with this team, but fuck it, you don't have to play that many games. He was an unbelievable goalkeeper. Seventy nine diving, seventy five handling, seventy three kick, and eighty one reflex, seven five position. That's a beast. Three three foot to be a goalkeeper, still really, really good. A uh, save technique is traditional. He's a class goalkeeper. If you have 300, co 350 coins, go buy him. Nothing gets past him. I think I lost two games with this team. That's all. One was Aruna Kone, and then another one was also bullshit. But anyways, I'll push on into the next player, which is Sebastian Basong. Now, he was good last year, gold, but oh, silver, he's so good. Now, he's six foot two, and his key stats are probably 74 pace, 75 defending, 80 physical. Now, 80 physical and silver defender, not even many goals have that, that's fucking class. Not only have we got past this guy, don't worry, if you lose the ball, you chase them back down, don't. No doubt about that, he will actually go chase them back down and win it off them. But anyways, he was a class centre back, definitely partnered with Antonio Raguero, Raguero, near or something like that, Antonio, that's what I'm going to call him, because I can't say a second name, so, Antonio, he's six foot three. 80 pace, 73 defending, 77 physical. Now, that was unbelievable. He's only 5k as well. He's a class player. Just go pick him up. I don't care if you don't have enough coins. Just go buy him. Get coins and sell your whole team and build a team around this guy. Because he's the key player of the team besides Connor Salmon. It was him. <clears throat> he was unbelievable. I loved using him. Uh, nobody can get past him. If he does lose the ball, don't worry. That 80 pace will get the ball straight back. And that's the way you do it. Now, the right back is just going to be Sebastian Jug. Now, to be honest, he was just someone I had in my club. I wasn't even going to go with him, but nah, he was an okay right back. Very generic, like any other right back. He got five assists, though. He was actually an okay player. I think he took most of the corners. I think that's why he got him. But next is Martin Olsen. Now, he was in the Premier League last year, and he was class. I'm surprised he's not actually gold, but he's unbelievable. I'm really disappointed Norwich went down, but whatever. He has 84 pace, 71 defending, 75 physical and 72 dribbling to be a left back is unbelievable. He was only 1.6k as well, 6 games, he got 1 assist, he was a great player for me, I did like using him. The 3 star skills on left back, some people like that, like to do skill runs up the wings and stuff like that. But anyways, the next player is going to be Alexander Tetty. Now, I was so disappointed when he went gold in the championship. Because if he was in the Premier League, him and Leroy Fur, oh, no one's getting past him. But there's still hope for that. I can still hybrid it. But that is fucking... <clears throat> that would be class. And this guy actually got one goal, three assists in six games. That's actually good for CDM. Now, he has medium-high work rates. <clears throat> Three-star three star weak foot, three-star skill moves. He's a class player. For only 350 coins, you have to go buy him. 81 physical, 78 pace, 71 passing, 72 dribbling, 72 defending. Unbelievable player. You need to go sign him. But next we have another Irish legend, Wes Hoolahan, who I actually thought, I thought him and Tetty would actually go to Premier League clubs, but that never happens, so they're still in the championship, but whatever. 71 pace, 73 passing, 80 dribbling. That's pretty good. He's only six, five foot six, but he got a lot of goals in his team, and he is high low, which is really, really good. Two star weak foot, kind of annoying. Six games, three goals, absolute tank. He's really, really good at finishing. He has nice dribble and stuff like that. I'm actually surprised he's actually still gold, but he's a good player. I will go by him with that four star skill as well if you want to knock out some skills with him. But next, we have Lewis Holtby, who used to play for Tottenham. This guy got me two nice free kicks. Uh, I'm not sure what his third goal was, but anyways. I, I played six games on three goals, one assist, high high work rate. That's kind of annoying. But first the weak foot and uh, four star skill moves is class five nine. His keys, well, actually to be honest, he's just an all rounded card. He's an unbelievable card. Uh, I didn't really like him at Tottenham. Well, there's obvious reasons. I'm an Arsenal fan. I can't really like any Tottenham player, but he actually isn't bad in this game. I just don't like that work rate. But anyways, next we have the player scoring against Belgium in the 107 minute got his first goal ever for the US. 
Julian Green. Now he's actually a good player. Um, he is kind of a hidden gem a little bit. He just didn't really score too much for me. But he does play right wing. So I can't really ask for too much. Six games, two goals, one assist. He's only five foot eight, and his physical's kind of low, so that's going to push off the ball. But his weak foot's four, and his three star skill moves. I say his key stats are 78 pace and 70 dribbling. Only bought for 1.2, so I don't really know how you could go wrong by buying that lad. But we'll skip Connor Salmon and we'll go to James McLean. Now, some, for some strange reason, in game he's ginger. Even though in real life he's not ginger, but whatever. 84 pace, 77 dribbling, 71 physical. He has high medium, which is actually not bad for a winger. Even though he's normally a left mid, I just decided to put him there. 4.4k, uh, he didn't actually do anything in 6 games. He got 1 assist, but uh, well, he only has 2 star weak foot. What could I really be asking for him? 4 star skills. But now, we're going to go for uh, the lad who's best around this whole team. Connor Salmon, absolute Irish legend. No, I actually have a positive record with this guy. 6, 8, 1, and a uh, 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 yellow card. But anyways, I think I might do a hidden gem video on this guy. Because he's fucking unbelievable. But anyways, he is 5, 10, high medium, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skills, right footed. His key stats be 81 pace, 66 six shooting, and 80 physical. He won't get pushed off the ball easily. He's kind of finding the hard to get past him on centre backs, but... Once you play him enough games at him, you will get used to him. But anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video, drop it a like, subscribe, and peace. Yeah.